Hi, I'm Bonnie and I play the oboe. And the oboe is a member of the woodwind family. It looks like this. It's made of this dark granadilla wood that comes from Africa. And at the top of it, it's got a reed. Now, the reeds are the main thing that makes the oboe uh, really unique and special. So when I take the reed off the instrument, it doesn't make any sound at all when I blow into it. <laughs> And when I play the reed by itself, it sounds kind of quacky, like a little bird or a duck or something. But when I put the two together, it makes a really beautiful sound that I'll show you later. Um, and the reeds were part of the reason I wanted to play the oboe as a kid. I just thought reeds were really cool. And when you play a reeded instrument, you get to carry around a lot of extra cool stuff like reed boxes. This is my reed box with all kinds of reeds in it that I use for different types of music. They all sound a little bit different or function a little differently. And they're all handmade by me. So I take pieces of wood like this. It kind of looks like bamboo. In fact, it's a relative of bamboo. And I use all these machines and knives and tools to scrape them down into two little thin pieces. And I tie those pieces together. That's why it's called a double reed. So it's these two pieces wrapped with string. And I just think it's really cool that with the oboe, you just take a couple blades of grass and a big hunk of wood and you're able to make something really beautiful, even though it's a challenging process to get there. Uh, it's been a really fun instrument to play. So because the oboe has such a beautiful singing quality to the sound, composers often use it to express something that's romantic or lyrical or sweet or sad often in the sad part of a movie right after the bad thing happens you'll hear an oboe kind of creep into the score just to really bring your emotions up and get you all choked up um, but for this first example I'm gonna play a, a little excerpt of a piece by Ravel and Ravel was a French composer so I think of this one as like a little walk through the French countryside So we don't always get to play pretty stuff like that. Sometimes uh, composers use the oboe to be a little bit strident, a little quacky and aggressive. Um, and this next piece by Prokofiev, Peter and the Wolf, is a narrative story and the oboe plays the part of the duck. So I definitely get to be a little quacky, a little annoying, and in this part of the story the duck is um, a bit stressed out to say the least. He's really got his feathers ruffled. Thank <laughs> you. 